price going up too. Cry uncle. In this game, because it's not guaranteed that you're always going to make money and all your ideas will make uh, money or will be successful, you will have a lot of cats who don't have the guts and the balls and the hustle and the knack to get out here and try to stack for something for themselves. In fact, they're going to be a lot of your friends because if you're the cat who went to college with everybody and they still in the frat and doing what they normally do and you stepped out and did something bigger, believe it or not, they're almost waiting for you to fall. You know what I mean? It's just the way the shit is. They're really waiting for you to fall. And if you have a really of an asshole friend, then he's going to try to make you cry uncle. When you were a kid, right, I'm sure a lot of you cats had that. You probably have an older brother, uncle, cousin or something. And basically, they would sit on you or do something to finally make you submit. Like, admit total defeat. And I have cats around me who, you know, like that, who want me to admit some kind of failures in life. And always say, you know, I didn't fail. A failure is when I stopped. I didn't stop. You know what I mean? So, but it's like they get some personal satisfaction of actually seeing you admit defeat. They think you're crazy for not admitting defeat. See, in this game, because they ain't doing nothing, and you still doing something, and you still pushing your line, they want you to cry uncle. They want you to quit. They want you to submit and say, man, I've been going the wrong way for 20 years. But the majority of us know that even in going down the wrong roads, we learn something that helps us get on the right road. So it's something they never see. They want to sound like they're smart. When you have a smart cat, he wants to be smart in everything. You know what I'm saying? They gave him a degree in engineering, and the cat think he's smart in every damn thing in the world. You know, he thinks he's logical. If you have someone around you who's an accountant, they think this way. Engineers think this way. Anyone technical with numbers is usually this way. And they want to say, look, I calculated this, and look how much better I'm living. But in the, in the back of their mind, homie, they, they really know, I wish I had the balls to get out here and go do what Freeman did. I wish I had the guts. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It didn't work out. But if I took my chance, I know I can make it work out. But if they can never get over the bitch in them, homie, they will never take that shot. So as a result, they try to do what I always tell people, intelligent hate. Very, very intelligent. High level hate right here. Of trying to make you as a man, which is hard to do for any man, but you as their friend or their family member or something close to them, they want you to admit total wipeout defeat. Never in life, in the history of war or anything, has there been annihilation 100% gone. Nothing could be scrapped from it. They want you to admit that. And just like they were when you were a kid and they would sit on top of you or hold you down and you weren't strong enough, they want that same submission, homie. They want that tap out that you see on your, <laughs> on that, that ultimate fight club shit <laughs> you watch. You know? They want that, that shit to say, man, I don't want no more. Like, I lost. I admit defeat. See my hands tapping out. And you got to understand that in this game, because we're, we're the ones who took a chance on ourselves, that everyone who didn't take their chance on themselves might have a form of hate. Right? Only a couple of dudes. You know, I keep telling you these rare motherfuckers. That's why you need to be careful who your friends are. Only these rare people, homie, can be satisfied with themselves and be happy that you still on your road. I have buddies who are engineers. I have buddies with computer science. I have buddies who do a lot of things and they're not in business. But they're secure with themselves and that's what they wanted to do. And they're just thinking about what kind of business they want to start. Right? But they're not hating on me for always angling back towards the business. I might get a job here to make some money and then I'm going to quit that job because I'm going to angle back towards the business. But every once in a while, you 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 have this cat that shows up. And what he likes to do is, is actually go tit for tat, homie. Like, like if, if, you, if a girl shot you down, homie, we were over at the club or we out and the girl took you down, didn't like you at all and semi-embarrassed you. You know, most of your homies going to say, man, hey, you know, if, <laughs> if the younger you are, they're really going to say, fuck that bitch. But the older you are, man, they just help you to say, oh, man, you know, cop and blow, homie, let that go, right? Don't sweat that. But you might have an asshole of a friend, homie. And this asshole of a friend is going to go frame by frame on your ass, homie. Look, man, remember when Freeman, that girl shot Freeman down? That motherfucker had on yellow fucking dockers, homie. They weren't even beige no more, man. 
Then motherfucker laugh at that. Then this motherfucker man, remember his his mustache was fucked up. And and then, hey man, free me. You remember you didn't you didn't do your hair that good that day. Remember that shit, man, homie. And they gonna go down like every this motherfucker had juicy fruit instead of bubblelicious. This motherfucker had big red instead of you know what I'm saying extra gum and shit. This motherfucker, had, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> He just had everything wrong with him, and I'm going to go tit tit all the way down to, like, his left foot was a little bit faster than his right foot. His right foot is a little bit taller than the left. He going to go into that level of detail of fucking you over on your failures. But with a cat like me, they aren't failures because I went out, and every rep I get in this game, homie, every rep I get... Whether it's a social thing, whether it's a business thing, whether it's life in general, what they don't they fail to understand is every rep builds a man. You in the dig what I'm saying? When you lift weights, you can start off at 20s and you look like a weak dude. You get up to big plates, you look like a strong dude. But the the strong man started at the weak plates. Don't think he started off at the strong plates. But they don't understand that that everything is a building process. Even your losses, they're not failures. They're losses. Again, a failure is a person who never tries again see in my case I switched lanes on motherfuckers I decided to walk away from something else to create something else because I knew that business you know once you understand multiple ways of making money you start seeing I don't want to be in this kind of business because the risk is too high that's too much shit let me go to switch over to here so for me I have a past Daniel Freeman has a past Daniel Freeman has a present Daniel Freeman has a future as a result of having a past you know what I mean? Motherfuckers compare me to my past, but it's always funny that they go back to a certain point. Go back to when I was in Compton and I didn't have nothing. It looked like a triumph. You go back to when everything was rolling before the recession and shit. I, yeah, I, I took a loss, but I'm not dead and I'm not broke. And yeah, you know, you wish you were still there. Yeah. Hey, man, everybody wish they were still at the highest point that they can remember. I don't know any motherfucker that don't. But I have a cat around me. And you know what I'm saying? And we're family, so I can't really shake the motherfucker. <laughs> so, so I can't shake him. If it was somebody else, I'd shake this bitch in a second. But we family. So everything this cat does is trying to find a piece of my step. Like he, he wants to make it look like he's smart. I'm analyzing your steps. Your yellow fucking dockers, homie, and your, <coughs> and your fucked up shoes. <coughs> and the way the woman looked at you and the, and the reaction she got and was the moon high and you know what I'm saying and you were still wearing some old ass cologne and shit and then you know what I'm saying when the business started you didn't do this and you didn't find a financial analyst and you didn't use your lines of credit and you didn't and I'm like damn man you know what I'm saying I, I, I admit that you know see my in my lifetime let me tell you something I'm gonna give you a pass homie that's what I tell people all the time see when you first start this game there's no way you gonna know everything man it's just impossible so you're going to do the best with what you got. And as a result, you can look back five years from now. You can look back five years right now from where you were five years ago and know, I should have did this better. I should have did. But you can't blame yourself. That's all you knew, homie. That's all you knew at the time. But you have motherfuckers who want you to cry uncle, homie. And the main reason why is because they don't have the heart or the hustle to do this shit. You understand what I'm saying? They don't have it. So they want to stick to their lame lane that they, they make their money in. And they want you to say, look, you should have did what I said. I told you I was smarter. I've been making money like this, blah, blah, blah. So long story short for this podcast, I had a, you know, talk with my family member. And they were trying to go through a lot of shit. And I just said, no matter what it said, you know what I'm saying? You will never see the top because you know your angle ain't going to ever bring the top to you. Homie, you ain't never going to be on top. Ain't no way in your job field ass life that you ever gonna out hustle me. We can we can go with one win for the rest of my life. And that one win will be better than anything you have ever accomplished in your motherfucking life. Because what it did was let everybody know I'm a man. I create shit for myself. I'm a producer. What are you? A job maker. Uh, you know, I'm a job taker. I'm an employee. I'm a good employee. I'm so good I moved up. And even when a motherfucker try to enunciate that shit and verbalize that shit, he sound like a bitch. You see what I'm saying? But motherfuckers don't ever want you to feel that they're smart. Like I told you in the earlier podcast, homie, people are checking to see 
You know what I'm saying? What you what they really feel and they're checking to see if they can put you down. And when you don't get put down, they really want to go into like like I said, like an intelligent analytical point of view. Only like I'm not trying I'm trying to be unemotional. I'm telling you at step one, you fucked up. Step two, you fucked up again. Step three, you did all right. Step four, you fucked up, which messed up the games of step three. They gonna keep bringing this bullshit up. But in essence, you know what the dude really mad at, homie. I'm gonna let you know. See, in this game, and the way I set up my own lane, I can always do what the lanes do. In fact, I can jump back, get a job, making more money than these most of these motherfuckers have, have waited their whole life for. I could be away from that whole plantation for 20 years and walk right back in there and make money that they sat for 25 years to get, if not more, and most of the time more. Because I really know it and they just been taught it. You understand what I'm saying? When you, the higher you get in business, the more you want motherfuckers that can grow things, not the motherfucker that can manage things. And what their bitch ass never learned by not going out here on the road and, and learning is that they don't know how to grow things. They just know how to manage them. So people pay a premium for motherfuckers that will grow things. You pay a premium for getting a plants that grow in the trees. You pay a premium for a lot of shit that grow. You don't pay a premium for things that don't grow. That's called maintenance. That's what management is. Never believe that any motherfucker managing anything is that ever growing anything. The word manager means don't fuck up my money. So when you have a manager ass thinking dude talking to the entrepreneur, to the hustler, you understand what I'm saying? It's gonna sound different. You're gonna look at, oh man, you should have did this. But if you if you you know confident in your angle and confident in your life, see like I told you in the beginning, it ain't no way in hell we talking chips, homie, that you're gonna be able to keep a sustained attack on motherfuckers. It ain't gonna be sustainable. You're gonna have to keep creating and keep coming up with new shit. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. How long does it take you to did, you know? Do you think it took McDonald's to make that menu that they found all the burgers that motherfuckers eat? How many failures did they go to? The McBLT. I remember all these failures. I used to work there. You know what I'm saying? All these burgers that didn't work. On the West, we had a California burger, which was a very fucking good hamburger. But they got rid of that shit too. It never came back. But they had the Big Mac. And then all of a sudden, for all you porky pig eaters, they dropped that McRib. And y'all motherfuckers love eating meat that's been pressed to look like a rib. That shit is gross and weird and nasty all, in, all rolled into one. But every business has to keep finding ways to make money that's just the hustle you understand what i'm saying so of course you're gonna have some days where you fall off some days might be big fall offs right but if the hustle is in you like i tell somebody before you heard this on plenty of podcasts man once i learned how to ride a bike homie i never lose it i just blew a flat tire and for you to think that my flat tire symbolizes failure <laughs> is, is absolutely nuts if I totaled the bike, I can go get another bike. If you saw me walking down the street because my bike was fucked up, you would, oh man, you told you, you should have been walking. You should have never got a damn bike in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Technically, man, walking is better for your feet. It keeps your vitamin D flowing and builds calluses that makes it tougher. Like, you know, in, in some brothers in Africa, they can run without shoes because their feet are so tough. And we should, be like, what the fuck, man? Motherfucker trying to find nutrients and bullshit. See, when you deal with a smart cat, homie, see, I got a lot of smart cats on this, on, on the rise and grind right now. I get smart emails a lot, you know, very intelligent emails. So I know that motherfucker's trying to come up with a technical way of explaining hate and jealousy and so-and-so. But it's just, you know, it's just bigger words for the same shit. Fecal matter, homie. Dookie. <laughs> the same shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think cats want you to cry uncle homie because it makes them feel good see when a man who thinks he's better than other men or or knows he's smarter than other men when he is not recognized as such or his 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 material possessions or his mental state is not recognized it's two things this fag can do homie and i'm gonna call him a fag homo whatever you want to call him. two things this fag can do see the first thing he can do is is first say uh, I'm like a, a theorist you know I don't have to follow it. I just come up with good ideas and I hope somebody else does them you know what I'm saying I'm just adding on to the to the cipher I'm adding more knowledge alright homie god damn it I hate them motherfuckers more than anything else smart motherfuckers who won't do nothing and the second thing is the motherfucker who's trying to say that 
he knows it and 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 the fact that he stuck to his line and and has a decent living okay not a bad living decent living that his line was better and in the long run he will bore out see the problem with thinking in the long run is the long run we all gonna be dead and if you don't take a chance on yourself motherfucker the only thing that's gonna happen in the long run is death but this motherfucker wants you to admit it in your prime why are you on your grind trying to say oh man you know you should have did what i did ain't i smarter than you hey freeman look at this see and in my head homie you know like i tell you before uh, life has been ups and downs my whole life man I, I guess i've been blessed and cursed to deal with up and downs on a daily basis some days i miss the bus same days my car break down some day i don't have enough to eat some days i got a buffet of food some days I'm rich in chips, some day I'm low on the chips. But you know what I'm saying? I, I done been through this shit so much that I take it in stride, homie. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I have no quit in me because there's no quit here. You understand what I'm saying? It's just a bad day, not a bad week, not a bad month, not a bad year. See? But when you have these kind of intelligent cats that make you want to cry uncle, they really want you to submit. And the submission is, I was right. Just say it, Freeman. Why won't you bow? Why won't you bow down to my greatness? Why don't you recognize that I was smarter than you a long, long time ago? And why everybody thought you were going to do something? I knew you weren't going to do shit. I knew you weren't going to make it. And I'm glad to see you crash back down because now you got to be like me. But see, the thing they don't get, and this is, I'm going to give you the ringer for this motherfucking podcast. The ringer is, if I ever came back down and touched where you are, I would beat you anyway. Because I make shit happen and you watch shit happen. That's your whole life. You a goddamn reporter. You know what I'm saying? I'm the dude on the news. You're the dude reporting live from Compton Boulevard. Bitch ass. I'm the dude who's on the thing. I'm the dude that makes shit happen. See, so they think that if I fall back, and I fall and I not fail but I fall and I stumble that somehow I'm gonna run as slow as them motherfuckers they think if I scrape my knee that I'm not gonna get up that I'm just gonna be happy that somebody put some back teen on my knee and now I feel all better and my mama kissed a boo boo they don't understand that by me going through the fire by me fighting the world by me getting up that I can never be a bitch you know what I'm saying when you a young man you ain't a, you ain't a bitch Right? Because you adolescent, you learn the game. When you a grown man and you quit, you a bitch. I could never be a bitch. When the game came to me, when the time came to fire, I fired. The rest of you motherfuckers choking. Now you're trying to find, I was waiting for a good shot. I bust on that motherfucker. I didn't wait for a good shot. I blasted till I got through. I wasted plenty of bullets, but they were fired. Yeah, well, I'm a sniper. What the fuck? I told you, man, in this game, when you're dealing with intelligent cats, man, they will come up with some excuses. That will make you say, wow, man, your ass, I mean, your, your shit got nutrients. You know what I'm saying? Riboflavin, vitamin D. Everything you do is the right thing, but they know it's not. Deep in their heart, you're talking to an intelligent coward. This is why they want you to cry uncle. Because if at the end of the day, if they can justify their bitch ass ways by saying, I step on Freeman, then I win and I must be right. But as long as Freeman maintains that Freeman spirit, that independence, that fuck these motherfuckers, I don't want to be under them, what are they going to do about that? They want me to cry, Uncle Homie. They think I'm a little kid. When I was a kid, I was a small kid. You know what I'm saying? People, family members, people are a lot bigger than me, right? So I couldn't do nothing. I just physically can't do shit. So in order to get a big elephant off me, Homie, I got to say, hey, elephant, get off. Now I got a shank in my motherfucking pocket, homie. And I'm going to cut a goddamn heart in your back if you sit on me, homie. So that's a different animal now. I could be the same dude. So that's where you get it, homie. And I want you to recognize when you hear these dudes, because they're going to be like your professors. I told you something, man, before I roll out on this one. I was in law school graduate. One of the people were like, you know, Freeman, don't you want to be a lawyer? I said, no, I want to make money. Like, I want to be rich. Well, how are you going to do that? I said, well, there's a couple of things I can get into that's going to make me rich. Well, why are you coming to law school? Because, hey, a lot of smart people go to law school. I thought it was a good sword to have in my arsenal, homie. I got a Batman utility belt on this motherfucker. I'm throwing bombs, 
ninja stars, all kind of shit to make this money to attack this world. You know what the lady said? Well, I hope it don't come back to bite you. <laughs> Next time, partner. And who the fuck gonna tell me something? I don't